A short note on bees, the bees. What do you know about bees? Hello beautiful people, welcome to Ranksh series blog. Your home of quality spicy videos. Visit my blog site for more details on this topic. This free ebook is relevant to anyone who wants to learn more about bees. The link to the ebook can be found in description below. The western honey bee is the species of bee that is most well known for producing honey. Bees are flying insects with a close relationship to wasps and ants. They are used for pollination. The superfamily Apoindea contains the monophyletic lineage of bees. Currently, they are regarded as belonging to the clade Anthophila. Bees are divided into more than 16,000 distinct species and seven recognized biological groups. Most species, such as mason bees, carpenter bees, leafcutter bees, and sweat bees, are independent. Some species, such as honey bees, bumblebees, and stingless bees, live socially in colonies. With the exception of Antarctica, every ecosystem on Earth that supports insect-pollinated flowering plants is home to bees. The Halictidae, or sweat bees, are the most prevalent bees in the Northern Hemisphere, yet due to their small size, people frequently mistake them for wasps or flies. Bees come in a variety of sizes, from tiny stingless bee species with workers that are less than 2 mm long to the largest species of leafcutter bee, Megachile Pluto, with females that may grow as long as 39 mm in. Bees consume pollen and nectar, the latter for its protein and other nutrients and the former largely as an energy source. Most pollen is consumed by their larvae as nourishment. Primates and bee-eating birds are examples of vertebrate bee predators, whereas bee wolves and dragonflies are examples of insect predators. Since at least the times of ancient Egypt and ancient Greece, human beekeeping, also known as apiculture, meliponiculture for stingless bees, has been practiced for millennia. Stinging wasps in the Crabrinidae family, which preyed on other insects, were the direct descendants of bees. The switch from insect prey to pollen may have happened as a result of the wasp larvae being fed on prey insects that were flower visitors and partially covered in pollen. The pollen wasps may have developed from predatory predecessors in the same evolutionary setting as the Vespoid wasps. The venation of the hind wings branched or plume-like setae, hairs, combs on the forelimbs for cleaning the antennae, minor anatomical differences in limb structure, and the division of the seventh dorsal abdominal plate into two half plates are all ways that bees differ from closely related groups like wasps. Bees can live alone or in many kinds of communities. In halicted bees, use sociality appears to have at least three independent ancestors. The most developed of these are eusocial species, which have overlapping generations in addition to cooperative brood care and a division of labor between reproductive and non-reproductive adults. The majority of other bees, including well-known insects like carpenter, leafcutter, and mason bees, are solitary in that each female is fertile and normally builds her own nest. These nests lack queens and worker bees for these species because there is no division of labor. Important pollinators, solitary bees collect pollen to fill their nests with food for their young. A lot of bees have produces different kinds coloring, which is often orange and black and serves as a warning about their potential to protect themselves with a potent sting. As a result, they serve as examples for Batesia mimicry, which is used by non-stinging insects like bee flies, robber flies, and hover flies to acquire some protection by acting and seeming like bees on the surface. Bees are also imitated by plants, such as the bee orchid, which mimics a female bee's look and perfume. Male bees seek to mate, pseudocopulate, pollinating the flower, with the furry lip of the orchid. 
Crepuscular species can be found in four B families Andrenidae, Colitidae, Halictidae, and Apidae. Even though the majority are tropical or subtropical, some are found in desert areas at higher latitudes. Some bees have compound eyes with refracting superposition, which combine the output of several of their components to provide enough light for each retinal photoreceptor. Their ability to fly at night helps them avoid many predators and take advantage of blooms that only or mostly generate nectar at night. The eaters, shrikes, and flycatchers are vertebrate bee predators that use brief sallies to catch flying insects. Swifts and swallows almost constantly fly while catching insects, attacking beehive hives and eating the larvae are honey buzzards. When interacting with people, the greater honey guy directs them to the locations of wild bees nests. Humans destroy the nests and steal the honey, while the birds eat the wax and larvae. Predators like the badger, which is a mammal, dig up bumblebee nests and consume both the larvae and any food that has been stored. The earliest known depictions of bees in art can be found in Spanish artifacts, which date back to 15,000 BC. For thousands of years, people have kept honeybee colonies, usually in hives. Bees are also kept to pollinate crops and to generate bees for sale to other beekeepers. Beekeepers get honey, beeswax, propolis, pollen, and royal jelly from their hives. Bees are the primary form of pollinator in many habitats that feature blooming plants, and they play a significant role in pollinating flowering plants. According to estimates, bees, both wild and domesticated, pollinate the majority of the insects, birds, and bats used in human food production. Commercial production of honey involves the utilization of honey bees. Additionally, they generate royal jelly, pollen, propolis, and other ingredients used as nutritional supplements with potential health advantages, while all of them can also trigger allergic reactions. Bees are regarded as palatable insects. Insects, including bee larvae and pupae, mostly stingless species, are consumed by people in several places. Additionally, they collect bee brood, or the larvae, pupae, and surrounding cells, for consumption. The poison gland and the dufous gland, two abdominal exocrine glands that contain a variety of substances, are mostly linked to the severe bee stings. This brings the video to an end. Follow me on this channel for more videos on animals. Thanks for your time and see you later.